guys, Savannah here, and I just have a review for you. Um, I am doing a review on Rimmel's Match Perfection Foundation, and I am in the color 222 Soft Ivory. Now, I got this quite a while ago, and um, I haven't had a chance to really use it, because I usually use my L'Oreal True Match, and I'm like N2 and a half, so I use N2 and N3, and I mix them together, but um, I know L'Oreal's a little, I think like, I mean, as far as drugstore brands go, a little bit more high-end than Rimmel, um, but I've been using this now, and I love it, I really do. Um, it gives you a nice, like, flawless face kind of application. Um, I love the packaging on it. I think it's very sleek. And, um, you get a whole fluid ounce of foundation. And I'm pretty sure this is only, like, four something. And it smells really good. Like, it's almost got, like, a peachy, flowery kind of really awesome scent. And so, I've just been applying it with two brushes. I usually put it on my little palette thing. Um, get my foundation brush, you know, foundation my face, and then I blend it out with my e.l.f. stipple brush, which works really well, and I just, it even smells like the foundation. And I just, like, stipple it on, and it makes a really nice look and I'm into the whole natural thing now and so I haven't been doing like crazy cake face because I used to kind of do that so that's what that color looks like though it's just like a really pretty um, it's really smooth and it lasts for a long time and it's kind of shimmery I don't know can you see but it's real nice now, if you guys have noticed, the lighting is probably way better, and I'm in a totally different location, even though my room is a pigsty, because <laughs> I've been trying to kind of get everything together for this precise moment, um, and I always kind of wanted a vanity. And I don't have a vanity. I have a desk. And so real quick, I'll just show you what it looks like. And it's got, those are, um, this is my Ulta palette, my Urban Decay Black palette, and Elf palette. These are random eyeshadows. I'm putting lotions and perfumes here. Here are my NYX um, pigments, my MASH brush set, my other brushes. And then over here I have foundations, tinted moisturizers, primers, uh, oh, more foundations, and this here is oh, blushes and bronzers, and a couple concealers and eye primers, um, translucent loose powders, and a high and tools like sponges and things like that, and eyelash curler. And then over here, I have my um, liquid eyeliner, some pigments, um, mascaras and eyeliners, and lip glosses. And that is about it. So it's just real convenient. If you want, I'll do like a more in-depth, like... I guess you could say tour, and if you've noticed, I don't even have a mirror yet, because I just put this, so, yeah, my whole room is messy, because I had a huge bookshelf containing, like, a bunch, oh, and I forgot to show you, uh, up here I have just loose um, eyeshadow, like, mini compacts, um, cream, and then my Maybelline Color Dream Tattoo and a little Profusion palette, and... Um, I had a huge bookshelf with like tons of books and stuff on it and I took that out because that's going in my family room because um, I couldn't get rid of it because my dad made it for me so I kind of feel a little bit guilty bringing this desk in here for makeup but it's a whole lot easier than having um, it in my bathroom and it's going to look less cluttered and I can organize it more because I find myself in the morning it's just like 
I really don't like to stand up in the morning because it's 5 o'clock. And so I'll just put on my L'Oreal BB Cream um, and maybe some liquid eyeliner, which I love to do the whole face thing. But, I mean, when you have to, like, stand there, it's just not that fun. And I feel like I'm probably rambling on now. So, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And um, I hope that, I mean, I'm going to rate this product. I guess I would give it, like... Honestly, I give it like an 8. Um, I mean, it would be awesome if it could stay longer, but it's $4. So, you have to put that into the equation there. They also have um, another, they have like two more of these. One is like an all natural one, and then the other one is like a matte one. And the matte one, from what I could tell in the store, was very goopy and had a little spatula to actually kind of like try to dig it out. Um, and then I'm not a big natural makeup person because if you think about it like natural is all great and all but why would you put natural makeup on your face if you're just like making your face unnatural oh and I have a big empty space here right here where the camera's next to and basically in there I'm going to be putting my palettes which hopefully I'm going to get soon I'm getting like a bunch of BH palettes and stuff like that so I'll be putting them then in there and I'm hoping to build my collection a little bit more because as you can see it's not that big and I mean I would just love more makeup so I hope this video helped you and I would definitely um, get this if you're looking for a nice cheap foundation and have a great day bye